Okay, so most of you guys know that one of my most absolute anticipated movies coming up in the next 100 years is Deadpool 3. One of the most exciting pieces of movie news I ever covered was that Ryan Reynolds come back in Deadpool 3 with Hugh Jackman playing Wolverine. It's incredible. Now, ever since that has happened, there's been a lot of rumors, reports, and all that kind of stuff about what might be in Deadpool 3. And there's a report going around right now that one of the things that's going to be in Deadpool 3 is Channing Tatum as Gambit. Uh, that's a report. Uh, you can check this out here. This is what's going around in the news reports right now. Deadpool 3 will reportedly feature a Gambit cameo. And it basically goes like this, that there's a story going on right now that Channing Tatum has been cited on set of Deadpool 3 and has already shot some scenes. Now, whether that's going to be a small role, a big role, a cameo role, whatever, the report is that Channing Tatum's there, he's already shot some stuff, that he will be in there as Gambit. Now, it is important to point out that the source of this story is not Variety, The Hollywood Reporter, Deadline, none of the legitimate news sources. That's not to say that it's not real, though, right? It's not to say that it's not real. And while I usually come on here with these reports to give you the words of caution about why you may not want to believe this and why you may want to take it with a grain of salt, I want to play the opposite role here. Ooh. <laughs> Even though I cannot independently claim that this is true or real, I actually want to tell you three reasons why I believe this report. And I do believe that Channing Tatum will appear in Deadpool 3. Now, remember, just before Disney announced that they were taking over Fox, Fox was indeed, they had announced they were going to do a Gambit movie with Channing Tatum. And Channing Tatum really wanted to do the role. Everybody, well, not everybody, but he was excited about it. And there were a lot of people that poo-pooed on the idea, but I think people started to warm up to it, though. Like, a lot of people, I thought at first, man, but Channing Tatum's actually become one of my favorite actors to see pop up in movies. He's, he's actually become quite a good actor. I think he's a lot of fun. But there are three reasons why I believe that this report is going to be true. Reason number one, Ryan Reynolds loves the Gambit character. Uh, he's mentioned even before earlier in his career that he even dreamt one day maybe even being able to play Gambit. So he really does enjoy this character a lot. Uh, he loves him. So I could see why when you're doing something like a Deadpool 3, which by all accounts is going to be a lot of multiverse mayhem going on, I could see that happening. Reason number two, Comic-Con 2025. Or 2015, I should say. <laughs> yeah, hey, Comic-Con 2025. Say. Comic-Con 2015. He's got the dial of destiny. <laughs> We're going to go into the future. So at Comic-Con 2015, Fox, who still owned all those characters, had their big panel where they talked about upcoming X-Men and upcoming Deadpool. And you can see in the front of this picture here, that's where they talked about Gambit. And actually, you can go back to that last picture you had up there. Look at that. First of all, look at that shirt that uh, Channing Tatum's wearing. And that's Ryan Reynolds with his hands on his shoulder. Do you still got that one? There it is. This was backstage at the thing there. They These guys were excited about working together. And, and Ryan Reynolds, who loves the Gambit character, was really excited about the potential maybe of having Gambit and Deadpool together at the same time. So my reason number one for kind of believing this is that Ryan Reynolds loves the Gambit character. Reason number two for me is the 2015 Comic-Con. Reason number three came out of that, which is Free Guy. One of the best parts of Free Guy was Channing Tatum's surprise role in the film. Channing Tatum killed it in this movie. I laughed hysterically at every moment he was on screen and him and Ryan Reynolds together was awesome absolutely loved it so when i hear a, a reporter rumor that you know as long as it, there's a, a little bit of possibility to it that maybe channing tatum's going to be in the movie that he's already shot a scene i don't have anything to independently verify that but those three reasons ryan Reynolds loves game at comic-con 2025 and channing tatum in free guy that all suggests to me that this is a completely believable report Again, cannot say it's actually true. You do need to take it with a grain of salt. But I like the idea. I think it makes sense. Historically, it lines up with things we've already seen. So I'd be down for it. I got Chris Carr here with me. Hey, guys. Uh, right now. Long time Chris, to see. You're, you're hearing about this. Number one, 
do you believe the report? Number two, would you theoretically be down for a Channing Tatum as Gambit in a Deadpool 3? I could see this happening. This is from a scooper who has some credibility. They have been correct in the past. And this does line up with another theoretical scoop. There's a lot of theoreticals here. A lot here, of theoretical scoops. Where uh, another scooper, uh, I think they go by, can we get some toast? I know that doesn't sound like the most credible name, but they were saying earlier this month that, or earlier in June, I should say, that this film is going to deal a lot with multiverses, multiple timelines, kind of jumping off of where Deadpool 2 ended with all of those kind of time shenanigans of Deadpool, you know, going back and stopping the Deadpool where movie. where the MCU is right now in their exactly. multiverse saga. There's this, uh, supposedly, we're going to have Owen Wilson's Morbius, uh, uh, not Morbius, golly. Mobius. Uh, Mobius and Miss Minutes popping in here and having that kind of time authority popping in. I'm not sure if any of that's true, but if it is, this would line up to have some version of other X-Men popping up in here. And I think Channing Tatum would be the most, he'd make the most sense for this kind of movie. Right. His gambit would make the most sense for this because he does do comedy so well. He's got great comedy chops. He's so funny. And I do love the idea of him as Gambit. I think he works. He's an actor with charisma out the wazoo. He is so funny. He grew up in the bayou outside of Mississippi near the Pascagoula River. So I know that's a little different than an actual Cajun dialect, but I think it's one that he could nail really well. And the sleight of hand and everything, I think he'd handle so well as Gambit. So if he's in there, Great. However, I don't want this to be some kind of bullshit cameo. Gambit's such a good character. I don't want it wasted on some kind of flash and trash. Oh, hey, look, there's that guy. And then he's out. <laughs> I want it to mean something. And this is already feeling like a very stuffed cast. If we do have Patrick Stewart, if we do have you know, Sir Ian McKellen in there, there's a lot of folks already talking about popping up here. And this is a Deadpool movie. You know, it's not an X-Men movie. So that does give me a little bit of pause of, is this going to be too much? And are these appearances going to be worthwhile if they are even true? Guys, we want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. And HelloFresh gets that you want options when it comes to what you make for dinner, not just the same old thing all the time. And that's why they offer 40 recipes to choose from every single week. So you'll never get bored and can always find something new to try and love. And when you need dinner fast, don't just call for delivery. Think of HelloFresh. Their fast and fresh recipes are ready in just 15 minutes or less. Plus, HelloFresh is 25% cheaper than takeout. Ann and I are both working professionals. And so whenever it comes to dinner time, we're always struggling with whether we should get takeout. But with HelloFresh, it makes preparing dinner together fun, easy, delicious, and nutritious. We absolutely can't live without it. So guys, right now, go to HelloFresh.com slash Campia50. That's Campia50. And use the promo code Campia50 for 50% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash Campia50 for 50% off plus free shipping. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. All right, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? I mean, do you even remember back in the day that Channing Tatum was actually going to be Gambit in his own film franchise? What do you think the possibility is that he has actually shot some stuff for Deadpool 3 and could appear in it? Do you think this could open the door, if true, for Channing Tatum to play Gambit moving forward in the MCU? Do you think it would just be a funny, fun one-shot? That's kind of what I think it would be. Whatever you guys think about this, jump down into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks for checking out our video. Make sure you do all the standard stuff. Subscribe to the channel, click the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below. But remember, we do a daily show as well that you can find on your favorite podcasting app of choice, the John Campus Show podcast. Find it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice.